your ego and your wish your people Cause you know the timing I want, I want She and she What's up, cousins? I can't even do the intro. <laughs> um, I can't even do the intro. But if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Subscribe, hit that bell. Then you officially be my cousin Those of you that's been rocking with me I love you, I appreciate you I welcome you back I feel so Weak I feel weak Mentally I feel weak emotionally, physically, and spiritually. And even though I'm weak, I'm still strong. But I tell you this, you never know what people are truly going through. And when people look at you as the strong one, like you don't need a hug, like you don't need encouragement, like you don't need somebody to check on you. That's where you're wrong. I don't care who you are. I don't care what bracket you in. I don't care what level you are. People need people. But because of selfishness, because of greed, people don't know how to be there for other people because all they see is themselves and then you have people like me who needs that hug or who needs to talk who needs to vent you don't have nobody to turn to because you don't want to be judged You don't want to put nobody in the position to sin. And let's be real. You can't be as real as you would want to be. Especially when you're at a place. Where you don't know. Who you can trust or who you can talk to. Or you simply don't have somebody that you can talk to who would be able to understand and give you wise counsel. The thing about maturity is when you're feeling the way that you're feeling and you seek to talk to somebody that's going to be able to either give you sound and wise counsel or be able to be like, listen, I may not find the words to articulate or to, to encourage you, but can we pray? Now go talk to somebody who's going to feed into how you already feeling and make you feel even more like crap. And then it's even hard. And no matter what, you still got to display the love of God.
this year for me alone has been so beautifully draining. And as I'm talking to you, I'm breaking down. And I know y'all probably like, well, where's your husband? My husband's here. But the love that my husband had for his wife, he ain't going to want to pray. He ain't going to want to talk. But that's what I mean by you don't want to put people in a position to sit. So, My eyebrows are snatched though, but <sighs> but in all I just bless God that I can be in him, that I can cry out to him. Cause It's one of those moments where it's like, you do so much good to people and you fight and you strive and you, you strive and you fight to keep your heart pure. Where you live a life where you're constantly checking your thoughts Where you're constantly checking your thoughts. And you're mindful of how you treat the people of God. Because you have matured. You have matured. Or you're in a place where you understand. That people act and people do. Because of whatever. They've been through. Or what they're dealing with. So you learn not to take things personal. And it hurts. Because it's like. You want to go off. Hell. You don't even want to go off. You really just want to put hands on people. Like bro I just really want to put hands on people. Some people. But it's like I can't even get mad at you because. You so deep. In what you got going on. You don't even see how you letting. The enemy use you. So it's like, I can't even get mad at you, bro. I can't get mad at you, sis. I just really, I really got to pray. Would you tell me that you love me back? What if I could? So. Who?
people don't understand when I start crying it's real it's real and like I said this year has been so I can't even explain this year. I don't even know how to process this year. And we are down. We are in the fourth quarter. We are in the fourth quarter. And I done been through so much. <sighs> I'm trying to stay positive for 2022. But my faith is in God. And I know that I know that I know that I know that He will not make me ashamed. I know that He will not leave nor forsake me. I know that He is keeping me here. So <sighs> Baby God is truly a keeper And I know sometimes we would want that physical, whether it's a hug to be held, somebody to rub your shoulders, but nobody can keep you like God can keep you. And this is why relationship Outweighs religion. I don't know where you are at in your life right now and what you got going on, cuz oh, but I want you to know I love you, I cherish you, I reverence you, I value you. You are important, you are loved. Do not allow the enemy to continue to lie to your mind do not allow do not continue to allow the enemy to feed you these lies get to a mature place where you see how people do you and as bad as you want to put your hands on them or you want them to feel your wrath or you want revenge let the Lord avenge on your behalf you need not to speak. You need not to do anything. Be led by the Holy Spirit. It's tough though. It's tough. It's real. <laughs> People don't even know how crazy I used to be. But. 
you just let God deal with it. And I know sometimes it's lonely. I know sometimes it's rough. But God got you. Even in those moments where you feel like he's far away or you feel like he's not listening or you feel like, my oh, dang God, you hear me? Oh, he heard you. Just allow your faith to be activated. And don't, do not move according to your flesh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. You can do more damage. You can conquer more in the realm of the spirit. I know it's hard. Oh, I know it's hard. Woo! I know it's hard. But keep your heart pure and remain blameless. Keep your heart pure and remain blameless. Keep your heart pure and remain blameless. They ain't even have to cut a light off on a nigga like that. Keep your heart pure and remain blameless. <laughs> I just pray that my transparency provokes you to strengthen your relationship with God. I'm going to try to get my spirits up. Fight to get in a better mood. And continue to trust God. This year has been straight bull. This year was pretty, pretty ugly. Felt like this year was like Dr. Jekyll, Dr. I like for real. But. Depression is real. It's real. It's okay for you to love Jesus. And it's okay for you to have a therapist. So I'll definitely be going back to therapy. Because it do help a lot. But I refuse. I refuse to fall back into depression. I refuse. And I know that's what the enemy want. Because when you're depressed, you shut down. You're not productive, you're not nothing. You're just numb. Anybody dealing with suicide, just know somebody do care. Please call someone. You can call one at the suicide hotline. Call someone. Do not feed into it. Do not feed into it. Because you are loved. You are valued. You are cherished. And you are not alone. Even though it looks like it, even though it feels like it, you are not alone. But I pray for divine connection. Someone who will be able to love on you. Someone who will be able to pour into you. Someone who will be able to pray you through. Someone that will be able to help you heal. 
but when I'm weak, he is strong. But I love y'all. Encourage me in the comments, man. But I love y'all. Be blessed. And remember, you have victory on every side.